This is Festival's main recording studio in Sydney, and at the moment it's full of Billy Thorpe and his Aztecs. They are recording their first album with their present lineup, and the tracks that we heard were starting to sound incredible. The album should be released within a couple of months. Billy, how long do you have to spend in a studio to put down an LP like this? Well, as long as it takes to put it down. I, I don't, there's no definite time, you know. We'd like to... Uh, the thing is, in Australia, you can't get enough time, you know, overseas. You've got... Uh, you're putting, using 800 hours. Like with the, with the uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash LP, that took 800 hours, you know. How long did you nice spend on this then? We spent uh, uh, a, a few full days, like day and night, uh, four now, and, and a night in Melbourne. Uh, we basically spent half a day on it for track recording them, you know. We're just sort of making up scenes as we go. But mainly, mainly we're sort of just trying to do stage things, you know, trying to get that same sort of feeling. Unless you've got a lot of time to record, it's pointless recording anything that sort of takes time. So we're just sort of raving, just raging, having fun. You were quoted in a Go Set interview as uh, claiming to be the best guitarist in Australia. Do you think this no, album no, showing No, I never that? said that. I said I'm one of the best rock and roll guitar players in the world. I've probably got the best plectrum technique in the world. Do you think that comes out on this album? Yeah, yeah, yeah some of it does, some of it doesn't, you know. It's just that maybe people don't sort of realise I'm a good guitar player because i got a weird phrasing bag and a weird time bag, but one day they're going to realise, so I don't really care. I don't care if they dig it or not. The thing that, that we try and get across is, is emotional excitement more than more than sort of perfection, uh, because I think when when you, oh, I mean perfection in terms of, of everything being technically perfect, you know, because if you start aiming for those sort of things, then then I, I think you lose a lot in communication. Do you think that's right? We haven't edited it or anything. We're just leaving the mistake. mistakes. If there's mistakes, we're just leaving them, man. Because if people come to hear us play, they hear a mistake because. We're only people, so why, why sort of get into the untruth yeah. scene and, and sort of keep cutting them up until they're perfect? Because perfection is not a real thing. The reality is playing, and playing is making mistakes. Yeah. So we're leaving them on, man. Warren, you're being left till last every time to put your tracks down. Do you ever feel superfluous? Oh, well, I don't have to do much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when we've gone on stage with just the lyrics and worked out the song on stage to go with the lyrics, you know, that yeah. sort of thing. It, it goes both ways. You know? Ninety percent of the material has been written on stage. We don't rehearse much. We probably had four, <laughs> four or five rehearsals in, in the eighteen months that the band's been Absolutely. together. And with Warren, we've had about one rehearsal. Yeah, we have to put an LP out called the Aztecs Annual Rehearsal, you know, <laughs> something like that, because uh, we're not really a rehearsing type band, you know. It's a, a lot of it's really instantaneous, the music, and that's what's come out in the studio. He's an incredible drummer, yeah. man. He's probably, he's probably the best rock and roll drummer in the world, but no one's into knowing it. I'm, I'm an incredible guitar player. Paul's an incredible singer. He worries an incredible piano player, and you got Paul's yeah, an yeah. incredible Marvelous, bass player. Yeah. <laughs> that drummer's too good. Yeah. How does that sound? Honestly, it's the thing. You know? I mean, it is, this, is, this is an ego bass player. It might sound like it. It isn't, you know. But uh, we reached a stage where we realised that if we didn't tell people how good they were, they're going to just keep putting us down, you know. They don't know.